Welcome, this is SBS News in Easy English. I'm Philippa Carisbrook. New South Wales has recorded 1,288 new locally acquired COVID-19 cases and seven deaths. Premier Gladys Berejiklian has warned people will die in greater numbers in coming weeks. We anticipate October will be the worst month for the number of people that lose their lives and also uh, for the rate of people in hospital. People living in Sydney's 12 local areas of concern have been given back unlimited exercise. From 5am tomorrow, the one-hour cap on exercise will be removed. A curfew and other restrictions will remain. Victoria has recorded 176 new locally acquired COVID-19 cases. So far, 83 cases have been linked to outbreaks. Premier Daniel Andrews says it's no longer possible to drive case numbers down to zero. The state's lockdown has been extended by at least another three weeks. Health authorities have advised people with COVID-19 against taking unproven drugs to fight the virus. It comes after an infected person in New South Wales overdosed on medications ordered online that claim to cure COVID. The person went to hospital vomiting and with diarrhoea. The symptoms were the result of overdosing on the anti-parasitic medication Ivermectin. Doctors say the person was lucky not to develop severe toxicity. Other people with COVID-19 have needed treatment after consuming disinfectants and bleach. Queensland has recorded one locally acquired case of COVID-19 in a truck driver. The man lives on the Gold Coast. He travelled from Sydney and was infectious in the community for five days. The United Nations top human rights official in Afghanistan says half of the country's children under five are in an extreme state of malnutrition. Ramiz Alakbarov has warned of a humanitarian catastrophe. He says it's due to conflict, drought and a shortage of international aid. By the end of September, the stocks which World Food Program has in the country will be out of, we will be out of stocks. We will not be able to provide those essential food items. Pakistan's foreign minister says to achieve peace, the international community must remain engaged with Afghanistan. Shah Mahmoud Qureshi says that may involve negotiating with the Taliban. One option is engagement as opposed to isolation. You know, we've withdrawn, let's wash our hands, we've done our bit, we leave. That's a dangerous option. A new law is to make it legal to fire someone for sexual harassment. Federal Parliament passed the legislation last night. The government voted against introducing 10 days of paid family violence leave. To sport now. Australia's won four more medals in the pool at the Tokyo Paralympics. Swimmer Tim Hodge won silver, while Blake Cochrane, Tiffany thomas Kane, and Thomas Gallagher claimed bronze. In tennis, Dylan Olcott and Heath Davidson won silver in the quad doubles. At the US Open, Alexei Poprin has beaten Grigor Dimitrov and moved into the third round. He's the only Australian left in the men's competition. I'm Philippa Carisbrook. This is SBS News in Easy English.